Hi, webcam. <laughs> what the hell? So yeah, I'm a uh, I'm gonna use a webcam now because the videos are fucking boring. Let's be real. It's literally just like a blank screen because I stopped adding that much stuff to it. So I'll add stuff here. Probably you can hold me accountable for that. You can give the video a fat down vote uh, if I don't do that. Anyways, today I want to talk about. It's gonna be another quick one. I want to talk about waiting for games. So like you know. Game gets delayed or release date is set pretty late. And my opinion on this, this is much more of an opinionated video, but my opinion on this is who who gives a shit? Like, who cares, right? Does not matter. Um, I can't remember the last time I was disappointed about something getting delayed. It just, I just, it just does not matter to me at all. And I don't really get why, I don't really get why people care so much. Like, yeah, it's kind of annoying if you're like, if you're really excited for whatever's releasing, but I feel like it should end there to be like, oh, dang, that kind of sucks, and you go on with your day. I see a lot of people complaining about it, like, vocally, like, oh, this sucks, this is horrible, what are the devs doing? Like, what are you doing? What, <laughs> what do you mean? They're working on the fucking game. You think they're going to work faster because you got mad that they spent longer on it? No. They're going to be less They're gonna be less motivated to finish it. So like, damn, people really do not care about us. They just, they just want the fucking game now. That's what I see a lot. People want the games now. Like with the you gotta I gotta make it topical. I gotta I gotta make it topical. This is tangential, but whatever. The GTA six uh leaks, everyone's like, Oh my god, this looks terrible. And it's like in dev footage. It's like, come on. People don't understand that games like take time to make and stuff happens in development. This is this isn't really a this is a rant, isn't it? I'm just ranting. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't make much sense to me. Especially for uh indie games like triple a studios yeah okay if they're taking like what is it for gta 6 now like 10 years you can be a mildly miffed that they've just been milking gta 5 for the last 10 years yeah but for indie games and stuff it's like it's like five people working on the game and you're like oh why are you delaying it like come on i'm trying to think of examples for this but i'm not really online that much like i don't like i use social media but i don't use it in the uh normal way i guess you'd call it maybe i should make a video about that that's good i'm like i'm running out of ideas okay i think that's it i think i restated my point like twice for no reason and then i brought up gta for no reason so good job i can put that in the tags i'm kidding i don't use tags i <laughs> they're just annoying to do so i don't use them at all i wonder if my videos get four views it's because they're boring okay anyways for all my loyal fans aka my two friends who watch my videos boom webcam and i'll put an actual thumbnail on this one please give the video a dislike hi it's definitely still the same day totally not recording this day later so about like four hours after i finished that last video the risk of rain 2 twitter account put out a tweet saying that they were delaying their update for the console edition of the game again and i was like oh shit this is perfect so i checked the comments and yes there are people with the exact mindset that i talked about Obviously, I'm going to be blurring the names. Don't like... For all the four people who watch this, guys, please don't go harass these people. If you do, I actually do know where you live, so... So this one guy says, Console hasn't had an update since 1.0 two years ago, and you can't expect me to just roll over and wait five more months. I don't care how small your dev team is, this is actually sad. I read this, and I'm, I just think, what are you talking about? Like, what do you mean roll over? You're not giving up on anything. You're just waiting. It's just... The developers aren't... Out here being like, yes, you will wait five more months. You must wait five more months. No, they're like, fuck, guys, we're really sorry, but we could not, we could not make our release date. We'll keep working on it. And I don't, I don't know how you can be mad at that. It's like, yeah, that sucks. Like, it sucks that it's not done yet, and they have to wait longer. And but also sucks for the devs because they don't want this. They're not happy about this. And saying, I don't care how small your dev team is, this is sad. It's like, what? Come on, bro. I think people forget that making games is really hard. Like, it's very difficult. And this is a, specifically this example, it's a, it's a console port of an already existing game. That is, that is hard to do. Ports are annoying. They're not easy. It just feels like it's expected that these things happen on a perfect time schedule and nothing can go wrong when things can quite easily go wrong. This other guy is literally just calling the devs worthless to console players when they've been working on this port for ages. And the reason it's taking so long is because they wanted to get it co to complete feature parity with PC, which is like, I wouldn't call that useless. I'd call that much better than basically every AAA company. Have you seen 
How some games run on PC when ported from console? Here's the thing. The port right now to console is bad because it was rushed. Right. And so now they're taking their time and making... They're basically rebuilding it from the ground up to make it not shit. And people complain about this and say, Ooh, well, just... Like this guy basically says... He says, do it so we don't play with bugs, but console players, you can keep playing with your bugs and lack of content. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, yeah, you have to take longer with something to make sure it doesn't have any bugs in it. And obviously there are people being nice in the comments, right? Honestly, I actually, I think I saw more people being like, yeah, this is okay, uh, than people who are like, fuck you. So it's, it's not all bad, but it's still pretty prevalent. Anyways, I could read more of these, but it's just retreading the other things, basically. I don't know if that, any of that made sense. I'm kind of tired, didn't get much sleep, so a great video, me. This is horrible, Jesus Christ. Now I have to end it again, so...